Hi everyone, say hi to them. Hi. Hi. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be answering some questions that I got from a question and answer I did on Instagram. And they're themed, so it's all about motherhood. I wrote them down here, so um, so I'll be looking in the book every now and then. So the first question is, did reality match your expectations of motherhood? So no and yes. Yes, because I knew that I was going to be, I was meant to be a mother. Before I knew I wanted to do to be anything in life I knew that I wanted to be a mother and a wife right so I knew that I was going to be a kick-ass mom I was going to be like the mom that you know show up to school that did everything so I knew that right so that is the yes the no in terms of um, I never knew I dumped myself so many times I never knew I'd feel, I never knew I'd feel so confused I never knew so many emotions came with this motherhood thing, so much second guessing to know if I was doing right, if I was doing right by her. So it's a very emotional process that I just didn't account for. So in terms of that, the reality didn't meet my expectations because I felt like expectations is that, you know, I was going to go full force. Yeah, I'd be great, I'd feel great all the time. But the reality is that I never knew how unprepared for this motherhood thing I really was. Because I was just biting my clothes, right? So that is it in terms of if reality met my expectations. So that's no and yes. Next question. How has, how has Zoe changed my life? So, firstly, she's made me. She's made, me, she's made me more patient and more present. She gets um, so involved in just the little things in life and I think that because of Zoya, I have I have won back my wonder. I have discovered my wonder, my wonder in the small things in life, the little things in life. I've never prayed so much as I've prayed because of Zoya when I was pregnant. You know, just Zoya growing up, pray that she's okay, pray that, you know, I'd see her grow up, pray that everything would be fine. Um, I celebrate little things now. She celebrates the little things and I really have to celebrate little things. Like, the simple fact that if she puts this in this, right, she will say yay and she'll, she'll find, she'll, she'll be so proud of herself. So I, I know now to just celebrate the little things in life. Yeah. Right? You hear her saying yay? Yeah. yeah. So I really learn now to really appreciate the little things in life and um and in essence Zoya has healed me I know it seems very fantastical very spiritual but I've, I've felt a lot of hurts in my life and anytime I look, anytime I look at Zoya it's like yeah I've been hurt but I've been healed I don't know if you really understand what I'm saying, but it's like she makes everything better. I don't know how she does it, but just that look, just a touch, just a hug, like whatever person's made Yay! to me. Whatever person's made Yay! to me in life, it's okay because I have and well, she's really changed me in that sense. The other thing is what's the hardest thing? Yay! What's the hardest thing that I find about motherhood? And that was a pretty easy question to answer because the hardest thing is not knowing. Not knowing if you're doing the right thing. Not knowing if I'll, if I'll see her grow up. Not knowing if I'll see her have babies um, on her own, for her own. Not knowing if... Yeah, yeah. 
not knowing if what I'm doing now will negatively affect her. So it's it's really the not knowing that's the hardest thing about motherhood for me personally. It's um, the other question is how do I feel about giving advice to new mommies? I feel honored that persons would ask me for advice and at the same time I feel at the same time I feel inadequate because I'm just winging it like I am literally winging this mother thing I know nothing really about it I'm not a professional and I'm just doing the best I can with what I have you know because everybody is different the other one is do I feel do I, the other question is, do I feel like sometimes motherhood, motherhood is a little bit too hard for me? And I'd say no. No, because I was meant to be a mother. Like, I knew, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that my purpose in life was to be a mother. However, in the spirit of transparency, I have felt some moments where... I felt like I, I maybe wasn't built for this, like I maybe couldn't do it, like during pregnancy I had some thyroid issues and like I had no thyroid and it could really negatively affect me and I was like yo this is it, I'll do this another time, one baby alone, right? Right? And then sometimes when she gets fever and you know like when she's sick you don't really you're so stressed though you're like am i really built for this like can i really do this? <laughs> like can i really do this like you know so those are moments where it gets pretty hard and those are moments where you feel like you can't do it but you really have to remind yourself that you know you're the only person that she has you're the only person that she trusts and she trusts you on a, unequivocally thank you thank you lord mercy lord mercy she just put these in her mouth so i would say that yeah i was built to do this but sometimes it does seem hard to be honest um Another question is, what's something I tell my 12 year old self? I tell my 12 year old self, don't change. Um, continue to love, continue to make the mistakes that you, you made, continue to trust, continue to, to be the nicest person that you can be. Persons are going to take advantage of it. But at the end of the day, it's going to pay off. You're going to get somebody who loves you for you, loves you for your gullibility, your heart. And then somebody, you're going to get somebody who understands the gender you are. So just go through the mistakes that you're going to make anyway and know that don't make them again. And at the end of the day, you'll be right where you want to be. So that would be don't change. And maybe text people a little bit more, especially the ones that you are very fond of, the ones that the ones that you lost. Like tell them more that you love them. You know? Yeah. The other question is how oh, can you get more subscribers? I have no idea. Well, the, well, truly, it's really networking. If whatever your channel is about, like mommies and parents and just life, um, you know, just continue being consistent, making, <laughs> just being consistent, um, making, like creating networks, telling persons to subscribe. Eventually, just like life subscribers will come if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing if you're being consistent if you're making uh, like um, forming networks if you're forming bonds subscribers will come it's really an approach where you have to go out and get it get, go do what you need you know the, 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 the verse that says faith without work is dead so work 
and then the things will come in. You know, but I have faith in, in, in that sense, but work. Yeah, do the work, um, network, get um, like-minded persons to like and subscribe to your, to your channel. You subscribe as well, you know, and all will be well. Another question is, how did I become such an excellent writer? Easy, easy question. Read, 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 read. Try to, um, try to, to use words in everyday life that you read, that you discovered. You discovered a new word. Nice. How can I really put that into, um, into my speech? You know, and then eventually you'll realize that you're speaking things in context that you're like, oh, what? Did I just say that? And just continue practicing I have a blog um, that I write I used to write I need to really unearth that but I have a blog and it was just like practice you know like when you're riding a bicycle the more you practice the better you get the more you write the better you get if you shy away from writing you won't get to practice you won't get to practice as much as as, as you can and the, the more you practice better you get trust me and just read read every single thing every single thing read milk cartons read the back of books read every single thing how do I budget and how do I save no everything is a big competition for me right I really feel like Zoya what are you doing bro? oh she wants to poop she wants to pee come 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 Alright, this is just an example of successful potty training. She wanted to poo. Well, she wanted to pee and she said poo poo. <laughs> so we just scared her. Well, I just scared her. And the other question is how are my sisters? My sisters are perfect. They are okay. One, we're, we're all split up. We're in three different countries. I'm in Canada. One is in Dominica. One is in Jamaica. We all have babies, they're all one and under the age of one, we had babies like one after the other, after the other, which if you know how close we are, it makes sense that we pushed our babies right after the other, right? So you know that when we're going to push our more babies, one after the other again, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so they're perfect, they're married like I am. Oh, yeah, babies oh, like I do, and they're just living a loving life. I think that is all the questions that I got. So let's come say bye. Come, come say bye. So that is it. Remember to subscribe. Come, remember to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Let's make it to a thousand subscribers. We can do it. Yes, yes, yes. Say bye. Say bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> okay, so on to the next episode. So we'll see you another time.